the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. A definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Right up the elbow, the body keep playing. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just over three minutes to go now. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Misses again with a right punch. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Thomas Almeida. Punch over the top. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. And both guys really throwing with authority. Ball oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the cleanest of the bunch. He turned his chin, made his chin touch his shoulder with that beautiful right. hook. He really got all of himself into that hook, pivoted off the right hand. Big left hook lands. What a great punch. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Straight punch lands. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Wow. Big ball for punch man. Now we get back to range. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side. So he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. Almeida gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. Nice strike. Another punch position. Three minutes now to go in round two. We're starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Now 
Almeida gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Not there. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, collar tie. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. 50 total strikes have landed for Thomas Almeida, and a 45% accuracy rate thus far against Brazil's Thomas Almeida. Back and forth we go here! Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. That knee, that knee hurt him. Oh! An uppercut. Inside, he's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Oh, perfect head kick there. What a fight so far. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was... fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Oh, big left hook there. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick. Every time he goes. Well, late in the fight, and clearly it's been a dominant performance for him, and he's had to lean on that cardio. It certainly has not abandoned him tonight. Cardio in a video game comes down to what match and who's actually playing the game. The guy that's actually uh -huh. playing the game has better cardio. Look at that bar. Stop button pressing and learn how to play the game. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the mid. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfectly. That one landed perfect. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Effective strike there by Almeida. A strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow has managed to land it with so much force. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Oh. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush. They get nervous. And they're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hip, be really heavy at the corner's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position.
official decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges for the contest, 30-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Thomas Tomin Haas. Round one. Beautiful strike. Attempts the front kick there. Oh, she connected with the knee of the body there. And this is something she saw on film, that her opponent left that body open, and she barged right through that hole. She's taking advantage of a weakness, and she'll look to continue doing the same thing. She defended the takedown beautifully and scrambles back to her feet. That is good. She cleaned it up. She really did take her time back. She took a step back. She evaluated what's my best course of action. Figured it out. Got it done. Now, how does she handle being on top with dominant top position? Nice super punch. Oh, pretty good knee to the body by her there. It seemed as though her opponent just didn't see that strike coming. She didn't see the knee coming, and she paid for it. All right, so there she goes, taking the fight to the ground. Yet again, she looked you right in your eye at our fighter meeting on Thursday. She said, I'm going to be able to take her down at will, and largely that's how it's played out. She said we were going to be impressed, and to this point, I really have been. She has done a great job of mixing up the takedowns, mixing up the attempts, and getting the fight exactly where she wants it. Kenya's back inside control here. Oh, look at this. She's got her in the crucifix. A lot of body weight with which to contend. We'll see how she tries to get up here. It's a very tough situation for the bottom girl. Before the top fighter, all she has to do is just maintain and keep control. Keep it safe. Don't allow it to turn chaotic, because when it turns chaotic, you lose one of the arms. You got to keep both the arms. And that's going to do it. Well, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Absolutely flush on the land, and I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming, so sometimes it's the strike you don't see coming that spells your fate, and ultimately it goes in the books as a big knockout win for her here tonight. Donald Cerrone. First round underway. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Kick Lance is hurt. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big right here. Landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh! oh. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh! And both fighters exchange in the pocket.
incredible to watch. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Back to the feet now. Caught that kick there. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Donald Cerrone. Big powerful first land. Now we'll get back to range. He is all about that left kick to the body. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Nice job by the veteran there to counter with a jab to the head. Strong work on the feet by Cowboy Cerrone. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, that's the end of the round. And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man gonna earn his money tonight. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Huh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over. Okay, now see, you ready? You ready? Let's go, fight. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Out of range with that kick attempt. Leg kick. Well placed kick there by Daryush. A lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Straight right hand now, just misses. Great punch, lands with so much power. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. It almost looked like he went lift there for a second. Cerrone gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he landed the right hand there. And they separate. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Kelly. His head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ishanu. And you know he's still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Daryush gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Cerrone's got his back. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Doing too much, perhaps. What just a fight right so far. Oh, 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 oh. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready?
The third and final round. Head movement slips there. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Daryush gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. So he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water, going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Just over three minutes to go in round three. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Well, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he is clearly losing this fight. It has not been his best performance, but... He can change all of that with a late submission. He struggled because he hasn't been able to get this fight to the ground. Now he needs to abandon his setup to his takedown, grab his opponent, and try to take him to the floor so he can chase the He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Now he's OK. Now he can escape. To set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this contest 30 27, 9 28, and 30 27. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Tunnel Collision. Collision. what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this one? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Well, he told us on the point, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. 
Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any. Oh! oh Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Corey Anderson. Oh! All right, single collar tie now. Beautiful play. Try to establish that jab. Anderson gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And he landed the right hand there. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice takedown, man. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. 20 seconds left. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Round two next. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent. All right, both fighters now ready to go with the start of round two. Corey Anderson. And that man, Tiago Maheta Santos. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Anderson. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Making all these shots count. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground upon as they were in the past. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Working off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Anderson's back in full mount. Under two minutes to go in the round. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. 
Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. and He's going to try to fall off to the side and pull his opponent up on top of him. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Nicely done. Fighters back to their feet now. Oh, oh, time. And that's the up. end of round number two. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that... Flush with that right hand. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Oh, single collar tie here. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Now connects with the right. Big haul. Oh, he's hurt away. Back. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Whoa! He's struggling. He's hurt bad. Whoa! That is going to do it. Corey Anderson. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So a seminal moment for him here, Tega. And the Korean zombie, Chan Sung Jung. So lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh look at that. He leapt up and landed the diving punch to the head. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the grounded pound starts. Oh, the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. He's going to attack armbar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Pretty good work off of the bottom here by Chan Sung Jung. Ortega's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Down into his mouth. 
Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, side control now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Ortega is right back to the full mount here. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, he's got the choke. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Round one, a tough act to follow. Ready? Now we get to our second round. Brian Ortega so and the Korean zombie, Chan Sung Jung. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Effective punch there by the Korean zombie. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Big right hand there. Oh, straight right. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Oh! Wow! Oh, he put him to sleep. Back to the feet. 38 total strikes and counting have now landed for the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung. And landing at a pretty good clip, 55% thus far tonight against Brian Ortega. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively he's been strong. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent, not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put a match. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed. No! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Woo! Oh, big left hook there. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Not there. Oh! Another knockdown! Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, the land. entertaining scrap so far. All 
right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. for the opponent. Great. Wow. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming in. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. <laughs> 68 total strikes and now. Oh! Huge right hand! And maybe so have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at one minute, six seconds of round number three. Going the winner by knockout, the Korean Zombie! 